thank you all for joining so first of all i want to know what what attracted you or like why why did you join this session can anyone who is not interested with ai in our days okay yes what else any other reason uh hi uh, dipti here i just want to uh, so we are just discussing that ai will come and everything will be change and there will so this it will disrupt everything but i also want to understand what will be the positive side of ai okay so i am just sharing one qr code i want everyone to scan it quickly don't worry i'm not going to hack anything or uh, it will automatically debit uh, some amount from your account it's just uh, a link will open okay and there is one question i want you to answer maybe in one word or two words or maybe three words very quickly please let me even share my screen so i hope you are seeing this kind of screen please confirm can anyone please yes we are able to see okay great thank you and and are you able to open this link after you scan this qr code you can even try on your phones as well uh, i think better try on phone because in from laptop it would be difficult okay i i i see one response okay three response six response we are going great another 10 to 12 seconds last 2 3 seconds okay stop so what do you see here this is a tool very popular tool known as mentimeter okay and this tool is using an ai you are giving an answers and it automatically finds out common words among whatever you have answered okay it is so smart within few seconds it gives me a result what what do you according to you what do you think scrum master can use how can they use ai predictive analytics to be more effective teaching increase effectiveness generate insights can eat job cleaning backlog intelligent automation teaching automated meeting schedule and then i think i think thank you all for your response you you already are very close to it and i think you all understand what what is ai and how we can use it and how it can help at least now i know that you you are familiar with few of the things about ai now coming back so i have prepared one slide and i am also going to give you a demo using few of the ai tools which is very common these days and i'll also give you some ideas some my and my perspective how as a scrum master you can use ai or the tools which is available in market how you can use it and it how it can help you in improving the productivity how you can generate a value to your team so there are a lot of benefits and of course for every pros there are cons as well pro pr provided you need to use it intelligently basically so let me just hold on okay i hope i am able to you are able to see the full screen can anyone confirm please yep yeah. okay i'm not sure how to anand can you guide if we, if we can you know minimize this one 
uh what help do you need mohit i just i just need to minimize this 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 thing the the one which is for zoom which is coming never mind uh, i think i think let's ignore no. ignore this for now okay so see if you see this image okay this image is generated by an ai tool it's not something i made it it is something being generated by a ai tool so are I, you showing the mentimeter because we are seeing only mentimeter right now oh is it okay maybe mohit you may want to share the entire screen so when you are sharing in zoom select entire screen i did select that anyway i'll do it again sure wonderful this helps okay great thank you so if you see this image this image is generated by an ai tool i gave some some um, uh, prompt we call it and based on that prompt it generated an image if you see there are two guys one sitting just uh, using a laptop or a desktop while the other is using papers and and you know a traditional way of working they both are scrum masters the difference between the two is this guy is a bit happy because he is using ai tools while this guy is is quite stressed out because he is still working with the old traditional way of working so this is the difference so hello friends we are here on on i am going to give my perspective on the topic the future of scrum masters harnessing the power of ai so these are the some topics which i am going to discuss today and i am going to share my perspective at the end we'll have a open question answer sessions and also i would like to listen to your perspective on it because this is my perspective totally this is how i am using on day to day activities this is how i have researched basically so i'm just sharing my experience my knowledge so let's start with a typical scrum master so how did the role got evolved initially the scrum master role was it was originated from a you know a, a typical 12 agile principles four values basically scrum role was as a facilitator as a servant leader and follow the scrum framework principles or we call it agile agile 12 principles then it got further evolved and and there were some responsibilities added like scrum master had had a responsibility to remove obstacles we call it impediment facilitate meetings and then enable co collaboration with agile teams to ensure successful project delivery now the modern challenges are right post covid there are so many changes initially we were we we believe we we used to sit in co located places and and we used to work together because agile believes that co location should be there while well, now post covid what has happened we are working remotely we are spread ac across and and now the further we we got further challenges like having virtual team meetings navigating into complex project because complexity also in uh, have have increased and also th there are technologies advancement which has come it has also made made it complex complex basically now what is a typical role of a scrum master this is something i have taken from scrum guide so scrum scrum master plays different role it plays different hats one at team level where it it coaches a self like about the self management about cross functionality focusing on high value increment definition of done removing impediment ensuring positive and productive environment <coughs> while scrum master also assist a product owner like defining the product goal managing the product go uh, backlog ensuring clear and concise product backlog right now and then of course establishing empirical product planning similarly at organization level it also helps in leading training coaching and scrum adopt uh, adoption while planning and advising scrum implementation and promoting empirical approaches for complex work <laughs> these are the typical role of scrum masters and now when ai has emerged so like it ai is helping scrum master in you know uh, for like helping him to uh, 
because these are the roles of a scrum master so ai is helping in in uh, a scrum master for these roles how do scrum master help in coaching how do scrum master can help in focusing high value how uh, a scrum master can help in in uh, helping a team in guiding a team in you know uh, providing a high value like uh, following the definition of done removing impediments so ai has come up and help helped a scrum master in, uh, in for these roles of a scrum master now moving ahead, if i say what is ai ai is nothing it is it is like a machine or an intelligence that is programmed to think learn and and solve a problem like a human being ai has not revolutionized revolutionized various framework by introducing innovative tools but also has a cap capabilities efficiencies and in also helps in decision making and overall project success or maybe in scrum term we can say achieve a sprint goal now some of the key contributions of ai in scrum is like automating uh, task assignment prioritization ai in retrospective like there are some tools available in market which helps in running the retrospective and it is quite efficient these days similarly it also helps in forecasting of a project like for example predicting the velocity we, we all know that but in, in integrating the capacity of a team and then velocity and the matrix matrices and performance of team it can help in forecasting what uh, how what what will the team will deliver after some sprints no doubt using the velocity we do it but using the tools ai based tool it is it has become more efficient similarly it is also helping in automating automating the status or maybe automating the rep uh, reports there are report generated automatically these days and then also risk management then also having a virtual collaboration communication it it it, it these are some of the contributions where ai is helping in scrum or helping a scrum master or scrum master can use ai you know for these contributions these are not the limitations there are other contribution as well where ai is contributing but these are some of the key contributions that's why i'm i'm trying to you know showcase here so now i'm going to tell you way, like there are various areas in scrum where ai is being used so first of first of all is a scrum scrum events we all know we do have sprint planning daily standards sprint retrospective sprint review but how do ai can help in these events for sprint planning ai based tool can help based on the inputs or based on the requirement we gave ai can help in generating user stories it helps in creating a product backlog it also helps in, in in identifying a product goal based on on some requirement given based on the inputs we have given it also helps in in you know in sprint planning in in sprint goal identification let's suppose i give a give up a prompt or i i give some inputs that these are the stories which are prioritized which team will deliver they have decided they have picked so if i give that prompt the ai tool will help me to define a sprint goal based on that similarly it will it can also help in identifying some potential impediments as well like what impediment like, like let's suppose i give list of user stories so ai will help me to of, of identify maybe it can help in in uh, going through all the user stories and maybe can can flag me that this particular scenarios as an acceptance criteria have been missed and it is a it is it can be a risk going forward so team can can you know work on it and prepare well in advance on that similarly ai bot also can help in facilitation any event like sprint planning daily stand up or you know sprint retrospective or sprint review now if i give you an example of daily stand up it there are tools these days available which can help in facilitation and it can also help where where are we track like in jira we do have every day team members update hours or update tickets based on that data ai can help that where what is the current status no doubt burn down chart is there 
but ai can ai is more advanced it also help in decision making and all the data present it it analyze that and it can help in prediction it can also help in coding support let supports in daily stand up we got to know there is an impediment a person is blocked due to some I some issue or some uh, bug which has come so we can integrate okay. ai to go through the yeah. the, the codes which which yeah. is there and it it can help that identify that at this this particular place the code has issue and then you know it can help in uh, providing a suggestion that if you solve this way this will help in removing the bug so uh, this these are few areas in daily daily stand up similarly for retrospective it can help in analysis like i'll i'll demonstrate you uh, a, a, like after some time one tool is there where based on the votes it that feature is already there in azure azure devops where based on the voting it will help me or based on some of the common points on retrospective it 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 creates an action on its own similarly sprint review it can also help in performance analysis like based on number of bugs like how many bugs were there what was the quality of that particular stories being de delivered no doubt they followed the uh, definition of done but we, we can still uh, make our system so intelligent that it can uh, uh like like help to uh, determine a performance it can help in giving a score score basically so till now any questions any feedback uh, one thing uh... yep yes i think kamal you were speaking hello maybe i can take it up more in the meantime come will try to join yeah. yeah i'm audible first yes you are yeah okay great so mohit as you were mentioning about that probably using ai in that we can get to know the reports the trends and various other aspects from the team's progress perspective so don't you think that this is deviating the teams to say matlab deviating the scrum master towards the micro management stuff where he's monitoring a lot of things probably which may not be needed and over information may also lead up th thinking aloud for the scrum master he may, he may get deviated from the path which he or she should usually follow for the team's progress see see this this will all depends on situation to situation okay at maybe at one particular project or client which you are working the requirement is to generate report or do some micro management at that particular instance there this tool will help you uh, to improve the productivity and improve in uh, automatically generating the report it's not that best practice says that you do it but it is all requirement basis so what i'm trying to say is these are the areas i'm just trying to enlighten you that these are the areas where ai can help got it yeah thank so, you so so it's not that you have mm -hmm. blindly follow this it's like the areas where you can use it absolutely okay okay yeah one, one question uh, so uh later uh, in in this session will you be showing um, how it is being done or uh, uh, so i will be I, i'll be showing like uh, i i'll be using chat gpt first okay i'll give you some ideas where you can use chat gpt as a scrum master and it, how it can help you uh, another i'll give you i'll also show jira in jira we 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 have plugins which is ai based how it can help you it is similar to Ch chat gpt basically then i am also going to show you one tool retrospective tool it is how it is intelligent same feature is all, already there in azure devops as well Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Any other question? If you're not speaking, just a request. If you can mute, please. All right. Thank you. So. So now, after AI is very useful in Scrum events. Similarly, AI also helps in team collaboration. like as i said initially at, at start of uh, the session virtual we are all now virtually connected 
and now we have a concept of distributed teams where multiple people from multiple geographies are are connected and work, working together like whether in scaled agile in form of a pi planning or maybe in scrum uh, as a distributed team so there are tools available which helps in conducting or facilitating virtual events and it also helps in tracking and task management basically if i give you an example one of the tool from microsoft is their task planner it is some of the features are freely available okay you use it as a scrum board there and you assign the task to respective developers it will automatically give you a reminder that after maybe like one day or two day that hey you have not updated you have not updated there is no update in 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 the uh, hours uh, like you have you have worked on or anything you have not worked it will automatically remind you we do have features in jira and other tools as well but i am just trying to give you an example similarly there are tools right now which will automatically update your status like like you just need to give a command and then it will automatically for example i'll tell you slack we all know slack is a collaboration tool using slack you give a command to do a build you do a code deployment or you uh, do to uh, you maybe give a command to uh, uh, run an automation script it will automatically do it and it will generate a report it, uh, it based on the data available it will do some analysis and it will it will give you a report similarly it will also uh, ai tool can also help you in giving the feedback in communication improvement or or any any gaps or or, or any effectiveness maybe it can also suggest you like how you can improve team collaboration how you can improve the communication ai tool can also help in personalized guidance okay like maybe there is a situation of conflict you give a scenario to tool it will help you how you can solve it maybe it will help you to uh, you know uh, guide a scrum master that how he can handle the situation and how he can solve it then like maybe we want to have a win win situation so we select that and it will give you a guidance so these are some of the Uh, places where it can it, it can be used in, in team collaboration there are other other places as well where team collaboration can be improved but these are some which which i i i want to mention ai is also these days quite popularly used in risk management so it it's not used only in scrum but also used in project management as well like account level risk it can it can be used or maybe project level risk or maybe program level risk or maybe at scale scaled agile level risk it also helps in identifying risk it also help in mitigating risk and also real time monitoring can also be done like uh, like we do have jira dashboards we do monitor where are we right now what so what are how many stories are at 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 you know uh at in progress state or in block state we do have everything in dashboards but we can create an alert or maybe we can create a warning or maybe we can uh, uh generate uh, some some email automatically that it it uh, it it says an alarming that this hey this is quite risky we should try to address it as soon as possible a scrum master knows it and it can help we <coughs> arrange a meeting uh, based on that and you know also it, these tools can help you in in uh, providing a suggestion on mitigating these risk as well real time monitoring also like like uh, data monitoring is there it can help help in that as well similarly one of the very important thing uh, which ai helps is data driven decision making so now we do have matrices we provide those matrices to ai based tool and then ai based tool can help in doing some analysis and and help in you know uh, one of the area i can i can suggest is agile maturity if we are trying to measure the agile ma maturity we can do it in fly as well based on these matrices based on the values being being inf input in real time it will help we at what state of agile maturity at what stage of agile maturity we are right now similarly it can also helps in forecasting like as i uh, quoted already already like velocity is one of one of the area it can helps in forecasting when this pro product will be delivered down the line okay 
whether there will be an impediment, whether there will be a risk. Capacity planning, future capacity planning, we will give an input. And based on that, it will help in giving, it will uh, do the forecasting. Similarly, Continuous improve based on the you know the data given it will help and it will it will provide a suggestions that how we can improve the trends and how we can do some process improvement as well. I'm in future slides. I'm going to uh, give you some list of tools which you should try. Some of them are uh, freely available. Some of them are paid. But you should definitely give a try and see what's the difference uh, without using an AI tool and and using an AI tool. So now. AI is also used in scaled agile. Example, programming increment of, or we call it PI, PI planning, basically. So it will help like, like we give some data on the capacity planning and uh, like past capacity uh, planning also data we, we feed based on that past velocity also we are giving and it will help in, in giving some future recommendations what we can plan for future PI planning. This feature is used in one of my project. Basically, one of my Scrum Master is already using. They have a tool, Candice, which is which they are using for scaled agile framework. And they do have a have a feature there where they give these uh, data as an input and they 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 are able to focus. So recently they tried this and they were able to uh, like forecast few of the you know epic which can be planned for future PI planning. Similarly, risk analysis is again another area. What all potential risks can be, can be there based on the historical data and trends. Auto, automated testing, uh, running the automated testing and uh, the report being generated from that automated testing, it can also help in predicting what what uh, you know issue can uh, uh, come in 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 future. Backlog prioritization and and management is another. Uh, you know, uh, like very key feature these days used in AI, uh, like where uh, there are tools. I'll show you that tool where you use a template and it will help you in backlog prioritization. And another thing is continuous integration and deployment, like log analysis, like we, we, we did a continuous integration and then there, there was a build, the, uh, the we got an issue. So AI can go, go and scan those logs and, and tell what what issue has occurred where where due to what issue has come uh, there is a concept called ml ops so in ml ops the this is quite popularly being used machine learning operations model in support basically it is quite popularly used these days so now when it is used in scaled agile now ai is also used in agile coaching it can help in measuring performance metrics. Like I was giving an example of agile maturity. So agile coach can go based on the data uh, uh, fed. It can go and analyze the performance of the team in real real time. It can also identify or the tool can suggest uh, like what areas we should focus and how you can improve. Just imagine we all know about astrology, right? How does astrology work? We give the data, our date of birth, uh, place of birth, name, and then it, it gives the entire report of astrology. Similarly, the AI-based tools are like that only. You give some data, there are some models which will analyze the data given, and based on that, it will give the result. Like performance metrics, it will also, it also helps in feedback analysis as well. Like any any concerns, any overall co collaboration can be improved, or any feedback from team. Like let's suppose I have given um, a team members have given feedback, so the tool will help the agile coach to analyze that feedback and based on that it can create a corresponding action. Similarly, personalized guidance also agile uh, a coach can use the AI tools and it can help in in creating a you know a personal chart or creating a, a a program or personal guidance program to respective developers. Uh, for example, let's suppose we have a situation a developer is not performing well. We have the data last few trends and based on that, the AI, AI uh, tool helps in finding the data and giving a report. Now, Agile coach using these data, 
use the AI tool and it can create a, a, a program that uh, how that developer, how, what kind of guidance, what kind of support we can give to that developer so that he can improve. He might be struggling with technical challenges. So these kind of personal guidance can be given to that, that particular developer. These are some of the top popular AI tools being used in market. Spinach.io, one tool which you record a meeting. Okay, it will help you to create a M M M M M O M from there. It it can also intelligently uh, read the transcript being uh, there from the recording, and it can help you to create a report out of it. Similarly, stand up Lie is one of the tool which is used for like stand up, smart stand up. It has an integration with the Slack. It has an integration with Teams. Similarly, Scrum Desk is also <coughs> a similar tool, which is AI based. SUP is also again, same, same kind of tool. They, they are also used in running the daily stand up as well. Swift board, I'm going to show you. Fake flow is very, very nice tool. You give a you give a Figma design to Figflow, it will generate a user story for you. It is so smart. Jira, we all know. There are plugins in Jira, which is AI based, which can help you to, you know, automatic task allocation. Similarly, chat GPT plugin is also there, which I'm going to show you. Trello is one of the tools from Atlassian. They have a inbuilt AI uh, like chat assistant. And similarly, it is quite probably used for project management. Microsoft Copilot is like a chat GPT, Claude, Gemini. Uh, Mohit, we can't hear you. Okay, am I audible now? To me, yes. Yes, you are. Yeah, you are audible. Okay, uh, is it Anand? You are not able to hear? Yes, I yes, we are able Seems to hear. Like the... Okay, can anyone message uh, Anand, please? Maybe I think he has some issue with his uh, headset. I think let's continue. All I good, think. all good. Okay, thank you, Anand. Okay, so these are some of the tools. Like I'll also show you like per perplexity.com is very good tool. Asana is one of the tools from Google. It is quite popularly used for project management, but there are some features which you can use it for like uh, creating a scrum board and all. They they do have AI based inbuilt task allocation. Uh, similarly, Microsoft Copilot is very intelligent tool. The image which I showed you in my first slide, I created using Copilot. You have to give a prompt. It will help you to generate an image. Chat GPT, we already know. Cloud is UK based, like uh, LLM open AI, uh, LLM uh, tool, uh, gen generative AI tool, basically. It is competitor of chat GPT. Its performance is better than chat GPT. So I'll give you a demonstration of few of the prompt which I have prepared, and then it will give you some ideas which you can use on day-to-day -day activities. Perplexity, I like it very much. It is again similar to G Gemini, Chat GPT, Claude. Why I like it? Because when it generates a result, it gives you a link from where it has taken some, some you know, references. Similarly, Copilot also gives some references. Like, like, uh, and another thing is, which I'll tell you, Chat GPT has a uh, limitation. Okay. Chat GPT, we are, like, it's freely available for uh, the version 3.5. Beyond that, now we have 4.0, which is available for limited access. But beyond that, which has premium features, you have to give $20 per month. But there are a lot many features of Copilot, which chat GPT premium version does. So, and, and also the Copilot and Gemini, they, they are using the data, which is latest. While chat GPT has, has been trained with the data, uh, of year 2021. Beyond that, you need to buy a premium subscription. So that's why uh, on different situation, I use different tools like Claude, ChatGPT, Copilot, or Gemini for perplexity. Any questions? Okay, I take it as a no. So now I'm going to give you a demo. 
so i have prepared some prompts already okay as you see i'm going to run it in chat gpt and other tools okay and how you can use it i'll give you uh, we can discuss on that like let's suppose the first prompt i prepared is as a scrum master assist product owner in creating product backlog and define product goal for an e-commerce website so what i am i am i am defining a role as a scrum master helping whom audience is product owner and what what are, is the output i'm i'm trying to get uh, the product backlog and giving an additional additional uh, detail which i am giving is e-commerce website let me run this the prompt and we'll see the results i hope you are able to see my browser yes yes my okay so now i just give this prompt and if you see it gives me a result so what i have given like help me in creating a product backlog for an e-commerce website okay imagine we are we we have got an rfp okay rfp is request for proposal okay if if you if you guys don't know imagine we have been approached by our sales guys that they have got a lead uh, uh like from some client and they are looking to build a website an e-commerce website and there is nothing you have no other information okay based on your experience you know that all, what all are the features okay like the prompt the response i get from here is like these are some of the modules like user management is one of them product management is one of them shopping cart order management these are some of the key modules of an e-commerce website i know that i have an experience in e-commerce so i know uh, these are the modules but let's suppose i i am i i miss to add order management okay but when i see the result from it it tells me that this was one of the feature i missed and now i can add it and now i can do an estimation on that maybe i can also create an api for order management and do it so my suggestion is not to use it blindly first prepare yourself prepare what all features can be there and then parallelly run 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 a prompt and see the result and compare what 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 is missed and what what you can add basically in short so now if you see the result you see these are some of the uh, high level features and epics which they have suggested and now it it they they it it has so intelligently given me a result that it has asked me it has further break down those epic or features into user stories and if you see as a user i want to create an account using email so that i can access the website so it has beautifully given generated a uh, user stories in a proper format now if you want to elaborate more you can further give a prompt that help me to let me help me to write you uh, a detail user story with acceptance criteria and i give this user story so now it will give me a detail user story which i can use it if i want to tweak it i can tweak it so now see it has given me a detail acceptance criteria so we we can also ask uh you know for f like we can also help a tester here like this is the user story is already available so we can give a prompt and tell based on the above story help me to write test cases 10 test cases okay let's let let's see the result so on above user story help me to write test cases 
So see if it, it has generated test cases, what are the steps to be followed? So now as a scrum master, what we can do? You can when you know that tester is already preparing a test cases. Okay. You can go and verify it. It's not necessary that you do it. But if, if you want to support your team, if you want to give some additional value, then you can go ahead. You can just see all the test cases and, and see what tester has created a test cases. And you can suggest a tester. See, this is one of the test cases. I would suggest you have missed and you should uh, write it. This will help help you uh, maybe avoiding a particular scenario. And it will also help in, you know, uh, 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 maybe a, a bug could, could, could have come and which could have been avoided. So I'm just giving you some ideas and, and you can use it this way. Now, ChatGPT is one of the tool. Similarly, we have other tools, Gemini. Okay. So now I am, I am, I am giving the same prompt to Gemini and it, it also gives me a result. So now you, what you can do is you can compare both the results and, and, uh, you know, use it, which is, which is not being used or maybe identify a place or identify thing, which was not initially defined and should be a necessary one. And you can use it. So this is quite helpful for a product owner or a, or a business analyst in real time scenario. So I, 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 I know people who are using it not they're not using blindly but it is you they're using it as a reference and then uh, updating the same so now another example now i want uh, to use it estim to estimate it let's suppose i have the stories now i want to know the high level estimates okay so now i'm giving the same prompt as a scrum master, assessment t-shirt sizing for above mentioned user stories. So it will help me to give me a high level estimations with also some, uh, uh, some task breakup as well, that these are the tasks associated with user stories. And this is how we are breaking up and giving the t-shirt size high level. Now you can also ask your team to do and then you can, you know, compare and validate. No doubt you you will not have a time in real life scenario, but as a, you can, you, if you want to give a value, if you know your team is mature enough, you, you can help them, uh, to some extent this way. So see all the stories, which were there, it, it has helped me in tabular form, the t-shirt size. Similarly, definition of done. Similarly, it will also help me in uh, breaking up the estimations. Also help in capacity planning. Now I'll also give you a capacity planning example. So this is one prompt I've given where I've given uh, some inputs. Like there are five developers and available hours per developer is 40 hours. Uh, 40, 40 hours, five days into eight hours and total capacity is five into 40, 20 hours. Now I'm, I'm defining that focus factor is 70%. Now help me to create a capacity planning. So as a scrum master, we do this, right? So it will help me to create a high level capacity planning. Like let's suppose my leadership ask that what will be the capacity? What, uh, how, how, how much? a uh, team can pick up in future. So based on the past experience, the capacity, you can, you know, uh, give a high level, uh, like, like, uh, available capacity and high level, like, like, for, like based on the focus factor. So now you see it helps me in generating in tabular form, like total hours 40 hours spent in spent 10, uh, and then effective capacity 30 adjusted capacity 21, because we have given input as 70% as focus factor. So it has generated me a complete capacity planning. So there are tools available in market, which it does, you give the input and it will automatically generate it. Now this is wonderful. I've used it. That's why I'm sharing it. Okay. We last year, we had a Diwali, Diwali time. Okay. And now I was thinking, how to make retrospective very interesting. Okay. So I want to, I, I tried with this prompt 
as a scrum master uh, create a, a retrospect theme as diwali and it it beautifully generated what all columns we can prepare for diwali we can use same thing in miro defining the columns and run the retrospective show like first uh, column is lights what went well similarly firecrackers challenges what were the blockers or challenges sweets what were the positive things which 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 went well and then new beginnings areas of improvement when i used this theme team was very happy so this is another area which you can use it i'm not going going to uh, run uh, like all the prompts but i wanted to give you some ideas similarly this is one of the case study which i took that a uh, uh, we have a startup and scrum team is not following the definition of done they are compromising the quality so how to solve as a scrum master solve the issue so now this is the prompt i gave sorry it is some somehow not allowing me to copy okay so now i did copy and and uh, there was a situation of definition of done and then also there was a situation of conflict so now what all steps it suggest what all steps you should follow again i'm repeating you don't need to follow blindly you take some ideas from here and introspect what is needed in the in in that scenario you have to use that it is three pillars of scrum in transparency you you need to create an environment which uh, that you should uh, you are using chat gpt you can openly tell everyone inspect what is the scenario and then adapt like whatever situation whatever suggestions being being given so see this is the result they have given step by step what to follow so now these are some of the demonstration i am i am also going to give you another demonstration on this this tool perplexity uh, dot ai so like the prompt i gave this one i can use the same prompt here it will give me answers you can go and compare it works the same way okay and then it also give me some suggestions some link corresponding to this prompt and you can go and do some research read more details on 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 this so this is again a wonderful tool which i would recommend perplexity.ai <laughs> we all know this jira okay this is one story i have added some freely available plugins okay one of the plugin i have used is uh, ai scrum assistant so this is one of the story okay so as a shopper i want to view a list of available gadgets with details so i think this is just a, a, a story not in proper format but i have created just for reference so now if i click here generate a user story description and detail with this context it will help me to generate a user story which i can incorporate in this so now this this has created a story now i can you know tweak it or if i feel that something is missing still missing i can use it and i can update it similarly this tool help in creating an acceptance criteria also if i want corresponding to this user story create an acceptance criteria it will help me generating acceptance criteria list so this is again a wonderful plugin which you can use this is freely available we the name of the plugin is ai scrum assistant similar to this we have chat gpt assistant as well but it has a paid version like i i i have already uh, like like used complete freely available like it was free for one month but it has similar features like this one ai scrum scrum assistant so very easy to use now this is the another tool which i was talking about the retrospective 
like this one, I have used one template, what went well to improve an action. So it has created, it is creating a board for me. Okay, let me, uh, and, and you can just add points. So I'm not going to add here points here. I'm going to use it a demo board. So the demo has to improve actions. Okay. I am going to share this. This is, uh, you don't need to log in. It is freely available, this uh, Swift board. I'll just share the link with everyone and then ask them everyone to vote. So now I've given one vote, then this, this uh, clap, then this, uh, you know, uh, heart, heart symbol. Similarly, the action items also. So like, like, uh, based on the likes, I'll ask everyone to comment or like, we'll discuss the retrospective. And now I, I have a feature of order car cards by vote. Okay. Show only my cards. So in the premium version, there are a lot many things available. It, it, uh, AI based, which, which we can use, use it. Azure DevOps, uh, I don't know, you have used Azure DevOps retrospective session on uh, retrospective feature or not, but it also has an AI feature where a club, similar features, similar, you know, uh, uh, points or similar actions together and, and uh, make it one. It has one, one of the very great feature, uh, uh, like for retrospective. So now these are, these were, these were some of the demonstration. There are so many tools I think, which I've suggested you can go in and, and try it. Uh, my recommendation now, what I would recommend is we, uh, you know, AI tools is available everywhere. If there are freely available, even these, there are paid tools as available, but now we need to use it with uh, due vigilance and ethically. First, we need to be transparent. Okay. Uh, we need to inform team if we are using, we can also inform our leaders. It should be transparently, uh, uh available to everyone and everyone should know it that we are using it. Also, another important thing is bias. One of the key challenge with the AI is bias. It is how it get trained. Like sometimes bias, uh, uh, like the model, which gets trained in AI, they have some, they, their bias being, being, uh, being prepared. So now how to avoid this bias, you can give, uh, avoid this bias by giving maximum details, uh, like, uh, for, for that particular prompt which we are giving. If you give the maximum details, the bias won't be there. Bias to some extent can be reduced. Another thing is fairness consideration. So Scrum master should consider that what, what, how are you using it? It should be fairly used. It should not be unethical used. And, and also uh, it should follow the standards uh, like defined. And also another thing is if client is not happy, they, they, they don't like it. You should avoid using the AI tools. You transparently inform them that you're using it to your team and, and, and client. And even you can suggest them as well, but if they due to ethical reason, due to PII data reason or anything, you can, you can take their approval and then use it. Otherwise you can avoid it. That's my suggestion. What, what is the future of AI? If we talk about. So, uh, someone has rightly quoted AI is not going to replace managers, but managers who uses AI will definitely will do replace those who are not using. So you need to use it intelligently. You, you don't need to use blindly. Okay. But if you see this graph, this one. The popularity of chat GPT, I purpose, purposefully uh, put this because AI tools are getting so popular these days. Like it took uh, three years or 3.5 years for Netflix to get popular. Similarly, Instagram, it took 2.5 years to get popular. While chat GPT, it, it took just five days to get popular. So this is the power of AI. It, it is getting so so fast popular these days. It is so vastly used, uh, widely used these days that we should definitely think of it and try to use it, whatever available. Benefit of AI in Scrum is we all already have discussed how AI can uh, uh, tools can be used. 
automating some tasks now nowadays we we do have tools we give some of the uh, input like this developer is senior uh, this developer has available capacity and based on the user stories available that that, that tool will automatically allocates those user stories or tasks to respective developers it can also help in avoiding cherry picking it can also help in making decisions also help in doing some analysis based on the matrices based on the past data available also help in improving productivity because it is quite fast so some of the areas which i would recommend we have already uh, in previous slide already showed you where it is already being used but some of the other areas which which i would say which we can use with due diligence like predictive analytics for sprint planning automated task assignment is one of them uh, chatbot support is one of them very uh, th this is very uh, uh, you know very very good use case which is used like in, in we do have wiki we do have confluence where we have all the documents available where we have all the information of pro pro project available now we can create a chatbot whatever information you need need to know about the project whether a code whether whether any documentation you just need to ping the chatbot it will uh, automatically give you all the results similarly we can also use it in code review and quality analysis it can also help in learning and personal development monitoring and feedback risk we have already discussed in hand decision making uh, tools which is popularly used like uh, spinach.io we we use it for writing the mom so uh, also in creating the documentation as well it is quite popular use i'll show you one uh, very good use case in chat gpt since we are using uh, like uh, 4 4 is now available available 4.0 what you need to do is you need to explore gpts and i have chosen this diagram where you can go in explore gpt and in this now help me to create a a di a gram for uh, using product uh, backlog of e-commerce website so now it will generate an image what all features should be there for uh, for an e-commerce website in a diagram form so product owners can can use it in very good way uh, no doubt they 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 do uh, create a diagram but this diagram can give give them some you know uh, hints and they can they can use it further and these images are further downloadable as well <laughs> if you see i click here you see these are the images already generated you can download it and use it as well so we we can so another image i have used uh, basically this is also generated by ai only so or like mind map this is in form of a mind map which we can use it some recommendation these are very good books i think i am i am i have read this book this is wonderful book these are some other books which which i am currently uh, uh like reading so i would recommend these are good books you can go in you know uh, uh like un, like you you will have a different perception of ai basically uh like how we are using whether we are using right or wrong uh very good books which i can recommend any questions this was my perspective my experience i i just tried to showcase that i i may uh you know at some places i it may not be relevant but these are some of the areas which i suggested which we can explore and we can use it in our day to day activities but uh feel free to give your points and any questions please please do ask any questions i have I know. one question yes yeah. please yeah. Uh, the question is like uh, suppose we have uh, the steps um uh for for oh, for a journey or product journey or product flow so if we give the uh, steps then uh, the uh, the chat gpt can or any ai tool can help to create a sequence diagram on that yes it can 
it so but that will be available in premium version it is not free really, you need to have a premium subscription what you can do is you can use copilot microsoft copilot will generate the sequence diagram from you from from, from the input you give Mm -hmm. so one question mohit a few as few slides back you talked about uh, using an estimate uh, ai for estimations so just wanted to check have you also tried that estimation with your team and tried to compare it up yes i did i did already so, how was your experience on the same yeah see experience wise see ai is not reach that level that it can replace a human okay but there are so many things which ai is doing much better than human okay right. so definitely there are so many things which ai is not giving because ai don't have the complete picture and all the perspective because ai do doesn't have the architecture right doesn't have the code uh, so uh, there were definitely discrepancies we also got the feedback but mm -hmm. it it will at least help you to some some extent that it will give you some ideas and and as a scrum master you know we we are not looking into code we we are we are not supposed to but but if we want to give a value to team we can use these tools and and we can support our developers in case they are stuck using these tools that's how i am doing it right now i'll give you an example right now i am working as a project manager for multiple teams okay one other technology is microsoft dynamics hmm. i have no experience in microsoft dynamics it's a crm tool but if team is stuck okay i just write a prompt okay uh, they are stuck so i give them some ideas basically you should read about agi asi comparison okay ai agi asi these are some of the tools which is quite popularly used and uh, like we are reaching towards the agi where uh, like like uh, uh like the machine is uh, like started using its intelligence on its own like 4.0 mm -hmm. chat gpt or like uh, open ai chat gpt uh, like uh, version 5 which is going to come it will definitely be a game changer which which will soon come yep yeah that's what i wanted to know initially itself because definitely i think that could be a point means uh, having an estimations from ai and for the team it might be a good point for the scrum master to introspect how the team is working out and it could be a point of either way either for the betterment of the team or can we we can find out a area where we can excel that okay this is the point where the team can approach out definitely yes so you give you give anything to chat gpt it will respond okay if it will not respond it will learn and try it after after a month it will definitely give you a response so this is how ai the power of ai it, it continuously learn it it, it, work, it works in agile way basically if i if i tell yeah. that's what i also got it initially that there is a similarity between ai and scrum that both follow the empirical learning yes i'll give you one more example i just remember uh, jira service desk is very intelligently using ai okay how they are using for for ticket allocation like uh, like like you know uh, this particular developer is available so jira uh, service just ha have a capability it will automatically see which developer has a bandwidth and automatically assign the ticket to that person which has a sla so uh, ai is evolving tools are evolving we just need to adapt we just need to learn definitely it will never replace a human according to me but if you use ai it will definitely help you and it will give you a you know edge among other other other, other scrum masters or project managers or product owners yeah, absolutely i'll i'll i'll, I'll give you one more uh, anand if i if we have couple of more minutes i think this will be really helpful to everyone okay i'm 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 going because i'm i'm using it almost every day so i'm sharing it you know we have been asked to create ppts okay ppts can be any uh, whether it's a learning ppt or anything this uh, site is awesome it has a competitor gamma uh, i don't know uh, some of you might have heard of, of it but this this site i like it very much okay so now uh, right i am giving a prompt create uh, a ppt for 
AI uh, for AI for Scrum Masters or create a, P a PPT on topic use of AI for Scrum Masters. Okay, I gave this prompt. This company should pay me. I'm I'm doing marketing for this particular website. And you see beautifully they are generating the PPT and uh, uh, like the topics it gives basically is quite accurate, which we should use it on in our, you know, day-to-day uh, -day activities. Like these are the topics uh, and then it, it takes few minutes to generate because of course due to uh, you know generating a uh, like a runtime generating a ppt is it's, it it takes time basically so you see it it gives you image it gives you wonderful uh, you know uh, details uh, details of it so trust me the ppt i have i have i have i have created i have used some of the points some of the slides from here So you can use it in your day-to-day -day life, this PPT. Okay, this is not downloadable. Unfortunately, it has a price, but at least you'll get some ideas. I hope it helps. So next I would say, go and experiment. Okay, like I'm doing, I'm giving prompts to different uh, AI based tool like uh, uh, Gemini or chat GPT Claude and it, it gives a different result. It gives a different perspective altogether. So try and learn and inspect and adapt. That's what I, I would like to conclude.